Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Aircraft manufacturers are always looking for ways to reduce the weight of the aircraft. And there are good reasons for that. The lighter the aircraft is, the less fuel it will consume, and the more passengers it will be able to accommodate. However, after developing a lighter aircraft, painters came along and sprayed tons of paint on it. So the question arises, why is it necessary to paint the aircraft? Well, it acts as a protective layer for the aircraft components, so they don't get damaged very quickly. In everyday flight service, the surface of the aircraft is exposed to huge strains, UV radiation and high temperatures, which directly affect its material. Therefore, a nice paint job on the final aircraft is necessary. Southwest Airlines is one of the top rated airlines in the world and it has a unique way of painting its aircraft. The painters use a feed gun with a high volume, low pressure mechanism to apply a very thin and uniform layer of paint. The aircraft is sprayed with three coatings, a bottom coating or primer, an intermediate coating, and a top coating which is applied sequentially after the previous layer has been removed. The parts of the aircraft's body that do not require any sort of paint are covered with thick paper. Finally, the aircraft is painted according to the desired design. Painting an aircraft also helps demonstrate a thematic motif, which makes the brand stand out. For instance, Southwest Airlines paints several eye-catching state flag liveries on its aircraft as a tribute to the destinations it serves. Rather than using anti-corrosion primer, Boeing is developing a chrome-free primer, which is much better for the environment. Boeing has been working for years to get rid of chrome, a toxic metal. Chrome has been used on the exterior of airplanes, as it is excellent at helping paint stick to aluminum and, more importantly, prevent corrosion. It's perfectly safe when it's dry. However, when chromate primer is applied to or removed from an aircraft, it can be a health hazard. Boeing believes they have found a chrome-free primer, which is as effective as the traditional ones. That's why they have sprayed it on a few aircraft for an in-service evaluation. If the chrome-free primer holds up on these aircraft in a few years, Boeing will replace it with the previously used primer for all aluminum airplanes. The demand for one of the world's most popular commercial airplanes, the Boeing 777, is increasing. Hence, Boeing is increasing its production rate to 100 airplanes per year. 
and this was only possible with the technology introduced at Boeing's Everett production facility, which paints airplane wings using robots or the automated spray method. The wings stay in one location during the entire painting process and require significantly fewer resources and manpower. These robots are not only fast, but also provide pinpoint accuracy on every wing. Moreover, the ability to do multiple tasks simultaneously results in a higher quality paint job. In addition to developing chrome-free primers, Boeing is developing airplane interiors that offer similar performance and are not harmful to the environment. For that purpose, the company is trying to use a plant called Flax, which has sturdy fibers and is used in producing cloth. At the end of the aircraft's life, the panels made using flax can be easily discarded without harming the environment. After the aircraft is assembled, it's time to set up the interior, and Airbus has a unique way of doing it. The A380 receives its seats, luggage compartments, and additional cabin equipment one after another. The crew carries each thing separately and sets it up inside the aircraft. This process requires the utmost precision and attention to detail as one slight inconvenience can damage expensive and delicate equipment in seconds. Airbus's way of painting its aircraft is somewhat like Southwest Airlines. Spraying a primer on the aircraft, applying thick paper to parts where no paint is required, and painting the aircraft according to the design. However, the process of repainting an aircraft is what tests a company entirely. Initially, moving such a huge aircraft to the paint hangar is complex. The technicians use specialized ground machinery called the pushback truck or a barless tow truck to move the aircraft. Commercial aircraft require a paint job every 7 to 10 years, due to cracks formed on its surface. The old paint is stripped off before the new paint is applied. A special solvent is sprayed on the plane's body, gradually dissolving the existing paint in up to 24 hours. Later, some parts of the aircraft exterior are covered with thick paper, and the rest are painted according to the selected design. Distinguishing military aircraft from commercial ones is pretty straightforward. The paint on a military aircraft has a distinctive grayish shade as per the requirement. The presence of any aircraft with this trademark color is enough to give warning signs to the enemy's camp or to serve as an awareness tactic to ground troops and allies. Moreover, this grayish color reduces visual detection at night
Military aircraft are painted in specialized facilities with smooth walls and ceilings, eliminating exposed structural elements that may disturb airflow and collect paint over spray, dust, and other unwanted elements. Some of these facilities also feature metal halide lighting for the best color rendition to assist the painters. The process of painting a C5 Galaxy is very tough. It requires 24 workers per shift and almost 7 to 10 days for the aircraft to get masked, sanded, washed, sealed, primed and painted. Sometimes, the U.S. military shows some creativity while repainting aircraft. While repainting an A-10 Thunderbolt II, the Black Snakes of the 122nd Fighter Wing conceptualized a unique design to commemorate 100 years of aviation in the Indiana National Guard. The paint scheme on the A-10 is a mixture of black and dark gray colors, along with standard A-10 paint lines on the wings, engines, and fuselage. The nose of the aircraft was painted with a distinctive 122nd FW Green-Eyed Snake, complete with fangs, surrounding the aircraft's 30mm rotary cannon. Similar to how a car gets a paint job to keep it structurally sound, aircraft must be painted too. Therefore, the U.S. Air Force ensures that its most feared fighter jets, the F-16s, get a makeover whenever required. The airmen start by sanding the old top coating off and feathering out all the damage on the aircraft. Moving on, they spray it with a primer so the new paint will adhere to the old paint and bare metal. Finally, the airmen put two different colored top coatings on the aircraft, one after another. Technology plays a vital role in the painting processes of both military and commercial aircraft. For commercial planes, different techniques are used to ensure a durable, attractive finish that reflects the brand. On the other hand, Military aircraft such as the C-5 rely on sophisticated coatings and precise application methods to endure harsh conditions and remain mission ready. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.